It is 613, an exciting night. I mean, it was yes. a big night. 89 local veterans and their guardians, they're right now getting some much needed rest this morning after spending a whole day in Washington, D.C. Well, and now that Honor Flight Mission is behind us, yes. we're all thinking about the Mission 11 for next fall. Right. So, News 3's Andy, uh, Danny Valle caught up with some of the veterans and he brings us a look at how their experience went. Just after 9 o'clock Tuesday night, nearly 100 veterans from Southern Illinois touched down on their return from Mission 10 of the Veterans Honor Flight of Southern Illinois. And the only two words the people here have is welcome home. One by one, each Patriot's name burst through the sound speaker, matched only by the sounds of applause and gratitude. The only moisture along Freedom Path at Veterans Airport Tuesday night, teardrops. Never got that when I came home before, you know, so this is great, yeah. For Vietnam veterans like Ed Schrader, Honor Flight closes a 50-year-old wound. James Self, a Vietnam vet, knows the feeling. It was scary to come back home and then they called me baby and stuff like that. My wife and I just decided to come home and welcome these guys back because it made me feel good, so I figured I would make them feel good. The crew, the staff that puts this on, it, it was just no flaws. It was just boom, 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 boom. It, 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 there was no glitches anywhere. It was fantastic. That's because Air Force veteran John O'Keefe spent that special trip with two friends he's known for 60 years, bonds he hopes to witness on the next flight. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to volunteer to help next year. And now that Mission 10 is in the books, it's on to Mission number 11 of the Veterans Honor Flight of Southern Illinois. That's scheduled to take off September 26th. Inside Veterans Airport in Marion, I'm Danny Valle, News 3.